One of the biggest muscle groups for power and climbing is the core, but specifically the glutes and lower back. This drill is called hip pumps and can help you with the development of that strength. Each time you move both your feet to a new position, move your hips from a relaxed position into an engaged position. The more overhung the route, the more challenging it will be. Hi, I'm Sarah from Sun Edition, the channel that helps you feel better through climbing without the frustration or embarrassment that you aren't good enough. Today, I'm joined by Court from Court Climbs, climber and podcaster based in Pittsburgh. Her videos cover a variety of topics related to climbing, including indoor and outdoor climbing vlogs and gear reviews. She also hosts the Crag Chat Climbing Podcast, where she interviews other climbers about their experiences and advice. Hopefully you already know Court, but if not, her channel is linked in the description. Please go subscribe to her if you aren't already. Editor Sarah here. This is the part where I set up the rest of the video, but the audio is so bad that I can't share it without injuring your ears. Uh, luckily, Cloning Voices has become so accessible that I decided to take this in a different direction. Hmm, I mean, the first voice that I think of is Blake Lively, but I don't think that her voice sounds like mine. Now, you might be wondering why didn't I just clone Court's voice or just ask Court to do the voiceover with me? And I think the answer is pretty obvious. I get to sound like Kate McKinnon. We I have a competition coming up that should be really fun, but it's sport climbing, so I'm not sure how we can train for it while at this bouldering gym. I know a couple of bouldering drills that would be perfect for training strength and endurance for your competition. Are you up for the challenge? All right. Yeah, let's do it. Since Court climbing competition is lead climbing, I'm going to share five easy drills that Court can use to train for strength and endurance. By adding these drills to her climbing session on a regular basis, the stronger and longer she'll be able to climb. We started the video with the first one, so let's show Court four more. Drill number four is up downs. After moving each of your hands to a new position, you climb back to the start and then climb back up until both your hands are in the next position. You repeat this until you finish the route. Don't leave me hanging, Court. Court was able to complete drill three better than me. It's toe o'clock, where your feet become the hands of a ticking clock. It's for your core specifically to get your feet up into higher positions. You can do this in just about anywhere in the gym, but I prefer spray walls for this. You'll climb up until your feet are hanging comfortably, and then you'll engage your shoulders. In this position, you'll move one foot to each of the hours on the clock. The stronger you are, the more reps you can complete. In addition to building strength, you'll also learn where your weaknesses are. For example, I really struggled on getting my left side up. Just remember, if you start ticking backwards like I did, it's not time travel, it's just a friendly reminder to work on your left side moves. The struggle is real. Holy strong. Drill number two is so fun, and I credit this drill for helping me get strong enough to do my first pull-up. It's called Lock It Off, where you complete a one-arm lock-off before moving each hand. You can use your legs and core to move your body into the lock position, so don't worry you don't need the strength of a one-arm pull-up, but you can make this harder by making your lower body more passive with the movement. Drill number one is a full body workout. It's called crab climbing, and to complete it, you'll keep your arms and legs as bent as possible for the entire route. This drill can be paired with up downs if you want to make it as challenging as possible, but I'm not going to lie, you're going to be very sore at the end of this. <laughs> now, Court knows five drills she can use during any climbing session. It doesn't guarantee she'll get more points than any other climber on the comp, but it should help her get a few more points. Plus, now she has some fun ways to train strength and endurance while climbing. You did a really good job on those drills, especially for your, for your first time trying them. What did you think? Honestly, I had not done drills before at all, so it's really nice because now I have these tools to use to train. 
for my competition, but also for climbing in general. If you haven't seen the video we did on Quartz Channel, go check it out here. It's really fun to make, and I'm still healing with, from the flapper I got on the fun overhanging route. Otherwise, check out this video for non-hang board grip training. These exercises will make the crimps on your project feel like jugs, so it's perfect for climbers at any level.